Generic greetings and welcome to Bomber Crew. Today's beverage is. Oh, very fine indeed. That is a lovely cup of tea. Mm. Yeah, very tasty. Maybe it tastes better because we are just about to climb into a Lancaster, take off and go and do a mission. Missions which can include bombing, aerial photography, sorties to look for uh, like ground targets and submarines and things like that and shoot down enemy planes. It's a game that I've only played about an hour of, so it's not a first impressions are out. It's just like me just having a mess around, hence why it's not a preview. But uh, I thought you would want to see this because, well, I'm very much enjoying it so uh, maybe something for you the idea is simple you have a bomber and a crew and you have to manage both throughout the mission and also level them up and give them different upgrades and stuff so this is the bomber as you can see it's a um weird lancaster looking thing it is supposed to be a lancaster it's just um a bit malformed in places but um obviously stylized heavily and you can change the colour of it, you can change the, like, the paint on it, and you can also change like the nose art, so we've got like channel logo there, but you can also put like a, <laughs> whatever, I think I just drew that in, yeah, you can, you can draw whatever you want, so you can say, I don't know, we'll give it like a, a weird, like, purple bit around there, so it's more like the Joker, and you can save that, there you go, it, 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 it's, it's fairly functional there, and you can change like the engine art as well, and I really don't want to put flames, we see enough, of the, we see enough real ones of those during the missions, and you can also, um, not just alter its, um, Appearance, but also its physical statistics. So you've got at the back, for example, um, two point three or three machine guns, Mark One variant, and you can also say, well, give it the second one, which is uh, plus thirty three damage per second. But it also increases the weight, and you have to worry about that because heavier it is. Well. For a start, you have to take off. Also, uh, once you are flying around, if you're heavier, you use more fuel. So you know. And that's what you have to be aware of. Either way, that is uh, the bomber, and you can, like I say, change your systems and get like upgrade the radar and different equipment racks and you know, armored fuselage and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's fairly decent on that one. Um, I've also got the crew as well. It's actually my sec. This is the flak magnum, by the way. That's what it's called. You can rename it. Uh, this is the second bomber, and sadly, I guess you could call it second crew because I was um, doing a mission. I think it was all about five missions in with the first crew, and uh, we did a mission where we had to knock out some installations, and we were coming back across the channel, and just after we dropped the last bomb load, uh, the hydraulics got shot, so I couldn't close the bomb bay doors, which meant we were getting a lot more drag, and that wasted so much fuel that by the time we actually fixed everything and got back across the channel. We were completely out of fuel and we had to ditch the thing. And uh, sadly, we crashed it somewhere in southern England and all but two of the crew died. Not a nice story, but that's just how it was. I mean, bomber crew, uh, historically, was, you know, terrible losses. 55,000 men, I think. I think over 30 sort, uh, thirty missions, your estimated chance of survival was 16%. Something like that. It was horrific. Um... Either way, this is our crew that we've got here. So that's Elaine McKay, that's our pilot there. We've got different stats to look like armor and speed and stuff. But basically, um, you want armor's good because when you actually get hit, you don't take as much damage and certainly you don't want the pilot to be knocked out. Survival chance as well if you either ditch in the water or on land and such. Um, and they've also got different like hometowns and blah, blah. We've got... Um, in we've got our uh, pilot, engineer, navigator, radio op, two gunners, and also a um, a bomb aimer, which can also be used as a um, machine gunner as well if they need to be uh, the, the gunner because there's one on the front you see. But anyway, you can also upgrade the vests and stuff and say look, we've got our flak vest or whatever, and that that changes the stats. And you can tailor your bomber to do different things. So you want to you, you might want to be very heavily armored or you might be fast inside it. You get the idea. It's for based on the different missions. Speaking of missions, let's actually do one and uh, get off the ground. So. We'll have a couple of options here. So this is where we start. We've got the motor, motor factory at Zeeburg, and it is in Belgium, and it is a short duration, medium risk. You get a certain number of uh, logistic points, I think they are, either way, this thing. You, you use it to uh, unlock things and also generic credits. Um, I don't think we're going to do that one. This one here is uh, a towed battery uh, ammo dump. So if we take out the ammo dumps, then the battery will be stabbed with ammunition. Also, it's a low-risk uh, mission. And we have a success perk, which if we get it done, then enemy damage is down for the next two missions. So I think we will begin that, and then we'll just hit the tarmac. There we go. So that is the bomber. As you can see, everybody's inside it, and that's in that that's actually inside the bomber. So you can see we're all we're all inside. We're all geared up and ready to go. And you can control people around us. So you can click on them and say, right, move over to there, and they'll wander around. And you'll be doing this as you progress on. Uh, there'll be a lot of comparisons to things like FTL and stuff, and I think that's a fair assessment, I guess. But um, you know, I, t I really do tend to stay away from that sort of thing. It's FTL like, oh god, every game is, even FIFA is. Anyway, uh, let's go for a takeoff, and then you can see, oh yes, 
hear the engines roar. It doesn't have the the the, the whoom, 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 like the wind up, but uh, yeah, we got um, four Rolls Royce Merlin engines. Uh, just powering this thing along. I tell you what, there's an air show. Oh, hang on, uh, let's raise the gear. Um, there's an air show where I live um, every year, and um, uh, last year, um, one of the I think was it both Lancasters? No, it was supposed to be both of the flying Lancasters that are ex in existence uh, uh, was supposed to come over. Um, uh, let me just uh, navigate over to there because otherwise we're just heading off into the distance. There we are. Uh, yeah, they were supposed to come over but only one of them was uh, working. I think one, the other one had engine trouble, the Canadian one. Anyway, it was coming over and I, I, I was wondering, oh, is it supposed to be the air should be on tomorrow? And then as I was in the garden, I could hear this drone for miles away, and you can immediately figure out, I know what that is. I know exactly what that is. It was. It, it took about five minutes to get here, and then finally it just came across the course, and I managed to catch a glimpse of it. It was like, oh, that's nice. That's a good sight. Um, you know, not if it was on the receiving end, you know, back in the day, but, you know, the, the fact is you could hear the drone for miles away. So iconic. Anyway. What I'm doing is I'm uh, navigating it. The navigator um, will eventually give, it'll give you course corrections and say right. So we need to go well left a bit, right a bit, up, down a bit, and that sort of thing. Uh, we're currently only at uh, medium altitude. Let's go to sorry low altitude. Let's go to medium altitude. Um, and oh, we've got hazards now. So this is our target. So that's one there, and that's where we'll go. And is it best to stay at medium? We could probably stay at medium altitude. Although ah, we can't really. No, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't really see it because of the cloud. So I'm going to go down. Uh, Calais is ahead, apparently. Um, I'm going to head down through the clouds. Come on. Go down. Come on, go down. Oh, crap, there's going to be flak here as well. Okay, so what I need to do is go and get the guy right at the front, get him into the bomb aims position. We will open the doors. We're going to select uh, two sets of bombs here. And then what will happen is eventually we'll be able to release these bombs. There's some flak. Uh, yeah, we're getting hit by some machine gun, and there we go, bombs away, and then we will close the doors, we will quickly turn around, oh, there's actually a photograph machine over here, so we might as well do that one. Um, you do get um, secondary missions, oh, we've also got planes coming in as well, you get secondary missions to uh, take... Uh, like reconnaissance photos, I'm just going to get that plane marked and that plane marked and that plane marked and our gunners will, yeah, we're going to take them out. Uh, we do need to take a photo of something, I think we might have we might have overshot it actually, no, no, that was still going towards it and eventually it'll say, well, we've got good photo 100%, this is um, based on the cloud cover and things like that and we need to get a photo, come on, wait for it. Hold steady, hold steady, and click. There we go. There's the photo. Right, so we're going to go for... Ooh, there's another photo mission over here. Well, we might as well go that way. Um, this guy's run out of ammo. I'm going to click on him and say, get your ammo. Um, same at the back there. I'm not a big fan of the camera. Sometimes it can be a bit iffy at times, but um, hey-ho. Uh, let me just mark all these up because you can't shoot them if they're not marked. You so you have to tell them to shoot. And that is now all marked. Back to the bomb aimer. There we go. And are we almost on... Oh, take photo yes we've got it photo taken and we will now turn around because quite frankly uh, we're getting shot at absolute hell as you can see we've got an engine that's uh, oh that's a bit on fire that engine um, right so what we'll do is we will get uh, the engineer to um, can we can we put that out please I'm gonna do that um, there is abilities we can use to put the engine at um, do you want to recon no you can there's abilities you you have to uh, one, you please put that engine out. There's abilities you can um, get to like put the engine out and such. But uh, anyway, so we're heading back over there. That is our next target. And there we go. So we'll turn it around. Uh, that is still. Oh, no, where we are actually putting out. He's on the wing. I mean, pff, nice one. Well done. You can go out, uh, go to there. Actually, no, you can go there. The bomb aimer will have to select and open the doors. We'll select that one and. Don't know if we're going to. Oh, that's, that's, oh it's, only, it's only two more. It's only one set. It's only one more target, as you can see on the right there. And have I overshot it? No, I haven't overshot it. I thought I had overshot it for a second there. It looks like this is on fire again, um, which is never something you want to hear. But um, I'm going to wait until we can drop this off. And then we're going to climb and release. You, put that engine out, please. Uh, there we go. And then you, ah, medium altitude, please. Go, go, go. I will get the guy to close the bomb bay doors because we don't need him in there. The engineer will now have to come out and repair that engine. This guy can go on the front and then we need to start tagging all of the aeroplanes. Where is it? Probably 109s. Um, ooh, good grief they're coming in. I mean, in reality, we would have been dead long ago. But, uh, you know, this ain't reality. 
So these guys can get some. Uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to fix a rate all of the well. We need to get some ammo for a start because we are out of ammo there. Looks like these are getting fixed. Um, we will be able to. Oh, we need to head that way. The navigator is telling us where to go. That's fine. And we've also got lots of planes. Oh my god, a lot of planes as well. As I said, you get uh, different abilities uh, as you progress on. Oh, are we down to one engine? Well, we're down to one engine. Uh, what's our fuel like? Uh, where is the engineer? Engineer is currently outside the wing, so he can't tell us. Good. Um, radio for recon as well. Oh, look, so we've got an engine on the go. There we go. Look, so we got we got one engine aside now, but we'll be burning some. Bar right, let me get him in there. Yeah, that's um, <laughs> we'll burn bur burn a bit of fuel here. Oh, look at that! Look at all the damage on the side. That is a fairly shot of bomber. But, hopefully we'll be able to get back. Because I'm at medium altitude, um, I'm not, they're not able to, uh, some of the planes are not able to catch me, you see. Uh, no visibility for navigation, right, I'm going to have to drop down to low altitude. But we should be across the coast now, we know roughly where we are. Come on. Repair complete, yeah, there we go, we know we need to be over there. Oh, there's, oh, there's the airfield, in fact. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, so let's get that guy to finally repair the last engine because, you know, it's the ground crew have got enough on their hands. Um, is that a fire extinguisher down there? Yes, it is a fire extinguisher there. One of the, um, I mean, you can you can all the time, but you can't pause it. That's one of the things that um, I really like with FTL, that you can pause it. I know some people are not a fan of the whole pause thing, you know, it's real-time real pausable because uh, it takes you, they say that, you know, it takes you out of the... Uh, Oh, hang on, that's a problem. Uh, we we can't we can't land because we've got no hydraulics. We can't even lower the. Yeah, we can't lower the. Uh, we can't lower the gear. This is bad. Um, yeah, yeah. Don't try and land, mate. If this guy tries to land without hydraulics, this is going to be bought that, please. There we go. Repair complete. You go. You go inside. You go in there. You finish off that, please. Don't no, don't try to land. Do not try to land. We got no hydraulics. We can't lower the gear. Lower gear. Oh, and when you stop, it actually does stop it as well. No, surely we're gonna fly over. Yeah, he's a, he's bought that. That's fine. Um, or is he just doing a Yui? I don't know. No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Um, so these guns don't work because you've got no hydraulics. You've also got power as well, so when that's out, you don't have radio and. Yeah, there's a lot of that there. Uh, you can pick up that fire extinguisher, and then you can put it back there. Actually, no, get on the radio. There you go, and it drops the fire extinguisher. And then, I think we should be okay. Hydraulics up. That's fine. Okay. Low gear. And I think the pilot... Yeah, he's not just circling now. He's actually... Uh, Yeah, he's actually going towards that. Okay, so it's still sensible there. Oh, look at the state of that. How is that engine still on? Yeah, uh, dangerous missions, these. <laughs> Who would have thought it? Who would have thunk it? Uh, you've also got different like alt altitude stuff as well. So if you go higher up, certain planes can't catch you, but obviously you might get hit by flak, and um, you'll need uh, breathing apparatus, and um, it's obviously colder and all that sort of stuff. And... <gasps> Touchdown. There we go. Yep. That was hair raising. Um I have no idea what the real crews would have went through. Terrifying. Anyway, there is and mission completed. So towed battery armor dumps, done. Return to base, done. Optional recon photos. Che check. There you go. And that is just one of the missions. So there's our crew status. Return, return, return. They're all returned. Um, you can see the ones that survived the last one. So Brenda Mitchell and um, Elaine Russell. And there you go, we're leveled up. So we've now got emergency dive and boost on these uh, things here. So let's click continue. So emergency dive, perform an emergency dive to pull out of engine fires or reach lower altitude quickly. Uh, or pull out, put out engine fires. Yeah, but you have to be at medium altitude, otherwise you will crash into the ground. And boost, give a boost of speed using a richer fuel mix, but obviously it'll burn more fuel. 
And there's all, all of our unlocks. Good grief, that's a lot of unlocks, actually. Um, I'll say exit debrief, and that's it. So you can go to crew gear, and we can give it different things. So what I might do is say... Oh, I don't know. So what's this one? You've got a basic flight set, which is... Quite decent. Uh, we've got a start flight set with a basic one. It's going to cost us 700 for everybody. I think we will go for that one and say yes. And there you go. Look, we've actually got the, the breathing apparatus and stuff. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, you got, oh, different colours as well. Now, nah, we'll go for the basic royal blue. Um, what else can we do on the aircraft? So we'll go over to this one. I mean, I wouldn't put the masks on today. Uh, it doesn't think you need it on the ground. <laughs> um, and you've got, oh, we can have like armoured engines as well. No, what I probably want is electrical system Mark 1, radar Mark 2, which is it increases the sweep time. Uh, you saw on the bottom right that there was like a radar thing, and it shows you where they are coming from. I want to say equipment. I want to put another equipment rack on this thing. Um, actually, we've got one. I want another one, ideally, because yeah, I don't want to have to go to the back of the plane to sort it out. There's the mid mid front oh yeah you can actually put one on there but it costs a grand and i will is the one right at the front there is one right at the front i will say install that and we're gonna have a fire extinguisher the mid rear will be what is that one that's mid rear will be the yeah that'll be say what's that one is that a parachute doesn't tell me what it is That is putting off fires. That is for medic. That probably is a repair kit. Either way, medic, repair, fire extinguisher. That's about right. Uh, do I want armored fuse large or do I want better survival gear? Like inflatable dinghy and stuff. Uh, we can't have that. On a pigeon as well. If you ditch behind enemy lines, a homing pigeon will greatly increase your crew's chance. <laughs> Look at that. That's very cool. Um... Yeah, I think we'll go for that one. There you go. So, greatly increase the crew's chances. But that is just one mission of, of Bomber Crew, and um, that's pretty much what the game is like. The idea is that you'll be progressing on through this campaign, you'll be leveling up, you'll be um, getting different pieces of equipment, your bomber, and I say, I I, I, re I find it... I, I'm quite enjoying it. I, I think that it's very hectic, but that sort of simulates... Um, I guess that, that works in the game's favour. Would be nice to be able to pause and stuff, a bit like sort of FTL, but that's not what they're going for. So, yeah, if you like what you see, then links in the description, you can check it out yourself. Definitely going to be playing more. If you want me to feature more, then by all means, let me know. We'll go from there. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. Didn't even have time for a cup of tea, either. Oh, yeah, it's still nice. Yeah, yep, can confirm. <sighs> Uh, what you're still watching for.